Hello people, David here and welcome to BTECT. First I want to say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles. They have over 23 years of award winning customer service. Their details are down in the video description. Definitely a great place to go and get your phone, so check them out. If you've got a pair of headphones with you, then I suggest you put them in now because this video is about the Sennheiser 3D Ambio headset. But this product's not just a headset. On the outside of the earpieces, there's a couple of microphones that can record the sound around you in 3D. This product's been out for a couple of months already. And when they were launched, I was invited to a premiere of a movie that had been made using just an iPhone 10 and the 3D Ambio headphones. It's a short horror movie called Final Stop. So I took along my mate DJ N-Type. N-Type has been a dubstep DJ for over a decade. He was so impressed by the Ambios and being inspired by the movie that he just saw. He wanted to make a track using the headphones to record ambient sounds. Right, I'm N-Type from Will & Do Records, dubstep DJ and producer and from Rinse FM. My name's Lost from Croydon, dubstep producer, signed to Wheel and Deal Records, Deep Dark and Dangerous, Hench, and I run Reversal Records. What's happening is Chrome Star from South London, and I run Nebula Music Group, and I'm a music producer. So yeah, when uh, we first come across the headphones, I actually went to a premiere of the final stop horror movie that um, Sennheiser put together um, we went to the premiere and um, I heard the sound on the headphones and I was like, wow, this is amazing. I couldn't believe like the directional quality of the sound and, and the visuals of what I was watching. So it kind of like had this like full surround sound. Plus you got the height and depth of, of what we were listening and watching. So it was really different from anything that I'd heard before. And I thought to myself, you know what, we could do something with this. Because in dubstep, there's a lot of ambient sound that we use a lot of beds and a lot of like, you know, like am ambient atmospheres and soundscapes that we use in our music. So I thought with these, we can actually record our own ambience and do something really cool with it. Amazing, amazing bit of kit. Um, I've never heard anything like uh, the quality they they give from in ear headphones like um, they're just amazing I, and and especially the fact that they record like headphones that record is just something that you don't really hear of um, uh, but yeah the fact that you can you know hear behind you in front of you um, from the left and right obviously um, below and up above uh, it, yeah this is absolutely amazing experience really you can take them out um, record you know leaves you know, walking on leaves on the floor, like trains going past and... And then, you know, take them recordings back to the studio, mess around with them, do what you need to do, and then you can use them in, in your sounds and in, in, in your track and, yeah, just great bit of kit. Like never heard anything about uh, anything like them really. Yeah, they're kind of kind of right. They're sick still. Like obviously when you brought them to my house, I was like, "What the hell are these? Like, what's what's going on? Like earphones with microphones in it, that? Do you know what I'm saying? So that alone just blew my head off. Even just by hearing them and hearing the clarity, like you just said, like clarity is a lot, and like. Obviously, yeah, just the whole, just the whole idea behind it. It's just, it's clever, you know what I'm saying. So big up Sennheiser for that still, because I know that we had a couple of, couple of issues trying to get the uh, surround sound kind of to translate in the track, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Boy, see that alone, that was a challenge. Yeah. Like cracking over the beat, getting the beat down, and everything else, getting the vocals recorded by Pokes. That was that was minor. That was easy, you know what I'm saying. But then. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. This was more than stereo. This is this is more than yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's the full the full circle. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 alone was a challenge. Like to even like I mean I learned we we all learned stuff going through that process of trying to get that whatever we recorded into the door. Do you know what I'm saying? I still don't get it up until now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. Folks, and I'm an MC and um, hype man for like dubstep parties and, and general like electronic music.
end up first sort of talking to him about the headphones and these these 3D headphones that record sound. I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. I obviously need to need to hear it. And I had this idea in my head of kind of what it was going to be, and I just kind of thought it would be, you know, like oh, like surround sound kind of thing in a headphone. And when I actually like heard it back with the headphones on, the the depth or field of sound just actually like it, it kind of like glitched my brain a little bit because it was kind of it was the first time I heard it, it was it was, it was like something impossible to be honest. The first time I heard it. it, it was such a like so big, there was so much depth, it was so three-dimensional that um, <clears throat> I just didn't expect it. Over shoulder lurker. The streets are rife with murder. Sharks from the deep. Demons in my sea. That itself just kind of made me instantly when we sort of started talking about turning it into a track or working with it into a track um, I just had, it just kind of that triggered all these kind of like sci-fi memories from being a kid. You know, I was just thinking about like technology and stuff of the 80s. And then that kind of made me think about that, um, the, the movie of War Games. Because of how sort of cinematic and yeah, just how cinematic this, this 3D sound was, I wanted to kind of do something that was like create more of a character thing rather than like a scenario or, um, you know, like some wordplay. So I had the kind of idea of like going back into like 80s sci-fi and like I said, like war games and just the actual effect of having the headphones on instantly just made me think of where I wanted to go with like the creation of the track and where to take it and to make it like more of a, yeah, like a character in a, in a, in a play or a film than like just, yeah, someone spitting a verse. 8,000 followers, I've never been so alone No NHS, no DSS Them lizards skin tea and then they tell us that it's blessed Of his own common sense Mr. Police 